It was the first snowstorm in Manhattan of the winter, and I was crossing the street, and car turned when he wasn't supposed to and hit me. I was out of work on disability for eight weeks, and so the whole time I was sitting here in my apartment, I was kind of pondering life. I'm Cameron. I am the owner and founder of Freckled Foodie, which is a company based in New York that focuses on health, wellness, and food. I was working in finance, and I just felt like I was lacking something. I started an Instagram that was basically just photos of recipes that I was creating, and there was a part of me that was always thinking that would be so cool to do this full time. Like, I always knew that there was more to give. Life is too short, and you can do everything right, and something can happen, and you're not in charge. And if life can change that quickly, I want to be doing something that I care about. My parents were kind of like, you're gonna quit this amazing job you have to just run off and do your own thing, and it's on Instagram. They were so confused. I do meal prep work for clients, health coaching. I teach cooking classes, corporate lunch and learns, and recipe development for my Instagram and blog. Part of my business plan with the meal prep aspect is that it's totally catered to you as a person. There are so many meal prep kits that you can order, but there aren't options to check off random food intolerances that someone might have or just ingredients you don't like. Like, I don't like cilantro or raw onion. So what I offer these clients is a menu totally catered to your specific needs. Once we start, they feel the difference and they notice, okay, I feel much better. And wow, I'm not spending $100 on Seamless every single night. Personally, when I host cooking classes, I feel like that's the most gratifying part of my job. I think how I would like to touch places outside of Manhattan would be more on video content of teaching people at home how to cook. I don't want people to be intimidated and feel like they don't know how to cook something, so therefore I'm just gonna order in. We'll do 30 minutes and we'll make all your breakfast for the week. It can be that simple. I define success once you're proud to say what you're doing because too many people are doing things for the wrong reasons. And I would say I'm way more successful right now because I'm way more proud of the content that I'm bringing into this world.